Hey everyone, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yo So Boho. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hello. If you are a friend of mine, welcome back. Good to have you. We are going to go thrifting tonight. I was out with my friend Julie on a Thursday. And Thursday is the first day that the ReStore is open. If you've never been to a ReStore, it is owned and operated by the Habitat for Humanity. And it is a place that has all kinds of stuff. Everything from some hard goods to hardware, to lamps, to doors, to sinks, <laughs> to furniture and art, all of it. And they had quite a bit of hard goods on this day and even some tools that I, um, looked through. So I'm going to take you with me to that store. Um, that is where I met up with my friend Julie. And then we did lunch and then we went to Savers. And I only got three things at Savers. Savers was expensive. I'll tell you what. Um, but I will show you those three things first so you can see those and get them out of the way. And then we'll go shopping at the ReStore and... Let's get started. The very first thing that I want to show you, actually my friend Julie spotted when we were at Savers. She said, um, there's like this metal candle holder animal thing <laughs> down at the end of the aisle that I think you might like. And I was like, what, where? <laughs> and she was right. She's picking up on my aesthetic and this is so neat. It is in a brutalist style, mid-century modern brutalist style. Check out the horns, the antlers on that beast. My goodness. Looks like you could hurt somebody. <laughs> He's so cool. He is in this primitive, like I said, brutalist style. Um, I only paid $2.99 for him, which was amazing considering some of the prices there on this day. And I think he'll probably go over to the booth. I will show down below um, what I'm thinking as far as value, but I think he'll look really cool on one of my shelves in the Boho booth at the Shops by the Lake. I grabbed this off of a cart that came out while we were there. And I believe that the person that was pricing in the back on this particular day was pricing pretty uh, pretty well because this was only $1.99. I took the price sticker off so that you could see who makes it. The maker of this is the Bailey Walker Company. They are out of Bedford, Ohio. And I think this is a date here. It says 1939. It is a wonderful restaurant wear picture. It's in beautiful condition. I did find a little smooch here that I hope will come off. I think it will, but it looks almost brand new. It's super white. And the red and green here, very Italian. It's beautiful. This I was happy to find. The last thing that I found was this really cool Audubon clock. It has all of the birds on the hours. And as we hit the hours, you get to hear the birds. And it's a beautiful, like, light bird song. It's not an obnoxious, loud thing. So I've really been enjoying it here in my office. But I believe I'm going to take this over to the shop. I'm going to put it in the booth, um, one of our booths, like, on the back wall. Somebody's going to see it, and they're going to want it, um, especially if they walk by and they hear it. It works fine. Um, the battery compartments here are missing covers, but it's fine. They're nice and tight. They're not going anywhere. And I paid $2.99 for this, which I thought was a good deal. I will share here what I'll be selling it for. And it'll be hard to part with because I'll miss the little birdie sounds. All right, so even though I got those three things after the restore and after lunch, we're now going to go backwards in time and check out the ReStore. It is such a cool place. If you have one near you in your area, go check it out. I got everything from little tiny breakables to doors on this day, and I'm going to share it all with you. So without further ado, let's go shopping. This ReStore is located at 34225 Vine Street in Eastlake, Ohio. I got there pretty much when they opened. And there was a couple of shelves here with some Easter things. Of course I grabbed them because I need them for the shop. That little flocked piece was 50 cents. This guy is a left-in bunny. He is a standing up bunny. And he was only a buck. I grabbed him and then I went back for this egg because I love the color on this. This is a made in Japan piece. And again, it was a dollar and yeah, all of them are already over at the shop, so I can't even show you. Did you see that Winnie on the bottom of that? There were lots and lots of hobbyist pieces here today and they were all signed by Winnie. 
whoever Winnie was, all of her pieces were donated and they were pretty well done. This is a cute little piece. Passed on that. I'm sure that bear was probably a Winnie. <laughs> Not a Winnie the Pooh, just a Winnie bear. <laughs> that was probably a Winnie too. <laughs> this little piece, it had a dollar on it. It was hand carved. It was extremely dusty. And I just decided to leave that. And this was an older piece too, but she was in pretty bad shape. Little Japan choir girl, missing a lot of paint. I see some birds up here. This cute little dove was a music box. I decided to pass on him. And this piece back here, this is a, a Meadowlark by Andrea by Zadik or Zadik. Um, that one was probably something I should have picked up. Some of her stuff can be worth uh, money. Liked that stained glass piece up there. And then look at this punch bowl down here. Let me freeze frame. This is a Ellie Smith. It's called the Horseshoe Pinwheel Pattern. I believe they had it with 11 cups for $35. Just the punch bowl alone can be worth some money, but they are slow to sell and I would never want to ship that on eBay. Plus, even over at the shop, it takes up a lot of real estate. So, I decided to pass on it. Um, did not show that whole thing, but it is a owl and probably by Winnie. And then here, I thought this glazed one was not Winnie, but oh, look. Yep, it's Winnie. <laughs> Winnie was a busy gal. Ran into lots of them. Let's get turned around here. You can see a little bit of the store there. We're kind of in the front. I like the looks of this wood carved piece down here. And you'll see in a little bit, I found her mate. But they were priced $3 a piece, and I just thought, eh, I'm not quite sure what they would be. I probably would sell them on eBay. I had similar ones before, and they took a while to sell, so. They obviously think that this is something really great. <laughs> they have $18 on this piece, and that is a made in China. Oh, see, here's the guy. Here's her little hubby here, a little partner. I think they were signed Ant period B, which if I look that up and find something, I'll let you know, but probably again, just a hobbyist piece. That was cute, but very, very light. And this was just a made in China plate. Nothing special there. Piece of stained glass here that I liked. It had $3 on this. I'm guessing that maybe had a piece that, you know, stuck like you could stick it out of a plant or something. Oh, and then I saw this guy. Look at how fancy she is. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, she is broken, and originally I walked away, I looked at a few other things, like this, this was a cute picture, it would be perfect for spring, and then I kind of thought, well, I don't know, can I fix that guy? Let me go around here and look at these, nope, nope can't get him out of my head. Somebody else is coming. They're going to grab him. I better grab him. <laughs> so yeah, I grabbed him. For a dollar, I feel like maybe I can fix this. So yeah, this pretty long tailed bird is coming home with me. Very fancy hen and for a dollar, I just couldn't leave without scooping her up. I have found that she had a mate, like a rooster that stood up taller. I'll share a picture here with you. And I really do think that they were hobbyist pieces because I've seen them in everything from like white with gold to just single like solid colors with maybe some details. But whoever painted this, I think did a wonderful job. And this fancy tail is everything, right? <laughs> so pretty. It's broken. It had a little accident here and somebody glued it on. They didn't do the best of jobs, but 
I think that I can help it out. I think I can cover a little bit of the white that you see here and make it look really nice so that somebody will take it home and display it. It's gonna go over to the Whimsical booth in our Shops by the Lake uh, shop because it's whimsical. <laughs> the colors and that beautiful tail, it just uh, fits over there real well. So I'll put right here what I plan to sell it for and she will definitely find a home. I had to go back and check these pieces out after I picked up the bird. These are Ukrainian. These little kind of cross stitch like patterns, if you see these, um, yeah, they are made um, in Ukraine and I love them. They were a little pricey. That little uh, napkin holder was not in great shape. They wanted four. That lidded piece was 12. Looking back, maybe I would have picked that up, but I was moving on. <laughs> Here I spotted this little birdhouse. I like the way this was constructed. They had $5 on this. And when I turned it up, it looked like it was just a, you know, little decorative made in China piece. And it was missing things and it wasn't in great condition. So I did pass on that. And up here I saw a little buttocks shaped basket, little egg collector, modern, small. That waste paper basket was cool. Had a really nice vintage look. And then as I was going down here, I spotted this kind of on its own down here. And it is a beautiful silk handwoven uh, little, you know, table rug. And so I definitely picked it up. It has a bird on it. How pretty. These are all over the board as far as value. I've seen them sell very cheaply on bids on eBay, most recently like for $5, which is crazy. I think somebody had a bunch of them and they threw them all up thinking that they would get, you know, bid on and they didn't. Um, so that was sad, but I think that this should be somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 to $35. I've seen comps on Worth Point in that neighborhood and it's just fantastic. It's super soft. It's got this kind of, you know, shine in it that is just beautiful. It's gorgeous. I love the colors. I think it'll be great on somebody's little end table. And yeah, I was happy to pay $2.50 for it. Right above where the rug was is this Longa Burger basket. They had uh, $6 on this and you'd be lucky to sell it for six or $8 now on eBay. So it was not worth picking that up. Like the amber color of that piece. What do we have on this side? Oh, this little piece was hanging up here. Caught my attention first. And I love the way this is constructed. Definitely has some age to it. So for $2.50, I'm also going to pick this piece up. I see these out every once in a while at antique shops. Maybe you use it to skim things off the top of a pot, um, whether it's fat or whatever. Um, it's beautiful. This is all hand forged. See the detail in that? I love that. It's so pretty. Somebody did a really nice job making it here too, look. So it has that really cool old primitive look and this is like a forged iron and this is a brass and it's gorgeous. It's about 17 inches long and I will share here a, another one that I found that is the same basic style and length. Um, yeah, this was definitely worth picking up for $2.50. I think this will hang over at the booth. Um, we do pretty well with some primitive and old things. Um, I think this will sell for sure. Somebody will hang this on their kitchen wall and it will look great. Back down here, I noticed this beautiful tray. Ah, this is a regret. This is one I should have picked up. They wanted $2 for it. It was scratched up on the front. It is a Barrett Ware piece, and these probably sell, there's a range of them. This one's probably in the $20, $20, $25 range, um, but you might have seen some scratches there. Super pretty though. Kind of regret not picking that up little piece of lightweight brass over there, lots of glass over here, and 
I'm just seeing if there's anything that pops off. So nice bright colored plates down there, but what does catch my attention is on the top shelf. It's some platters up there. We'll get to them. Let's take a look over here. Got some enamelware, which always catches my attention. I love those pieces. This was cool too. Looks like an old Pyrex, um, but they had $10 on that. Now we'll get over here. These were nice. I, well, you know, the color. <laughs> That's my color. Look at those little flowers. And they were the same color as these over here. I think they had about $4 on all of these platters and I just decided to let them let them be. Did like that little stoneware piece, but and this green caught my eye. Those were melamine plastic. Got some cute mugs over here. Nothing too great. That was interesting. And then out of the corner of my eye, I spy this on the edge of one of these shelving units and I was like, what is that over there? Oh my gosh. Look at this piece, you guys. Oh my gosh. It is a fantastic wall pocket. It is large and beautifully constructed. Artist made, $8. And the date on this, this has been hanging over there for a little bit. It was meant to be, it's coming home with me. You know, as soon as I spotted this, I ran. <laughs> <laughs> it's like nobody saw it there. <laughs> I feel like it was just kind of um, hidden for me. I don't know. Um, but it had a date on it of March 11th, which means it had hung there for a week. I mean, I know they're closed like Sunday through, you know, Wednesday, but it hung on like Friday or Saturday the week before, which means it was up for a couple of days. And there it was hanging for me. My goodness. I had to slice into the back of it because I knew based on the way this was made that this was not a amateur piece. So I cut through the back of this. It turns out it's Steve Vasilou. It's V-A-S-I-L-I-O-U. And it's signed 89. Steve Vasilou is a potter in West Virginia. And his stuff does really well on eBay. I will share with you some of the solds. Um, actually, I will sh I'll scroll some here <laughs> as I'm talking. Um, I paid $8 for mine and I think that's wonderful. This one is a nice, big, unique piece. I have not seen another wall pocket um, anywhere. I am holding on to it. <laughs> it is a piece of art. It's probably, in my opinion, worth about $100. And I think it's gonna hang on a wall right here near my pottery because it fits my aesthetic. It's that kind of nature. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at them. I'm just thrilled that I found them, that they were sitting there waiting for me. Oh, absolutely phenomenal. After finding that wall pocket, it's it's like one of those things where I'm like, eh, I don't care if I find anything else. <laughs> this is a avocado. It is missing a spoon. Should have a spoon sticking out there. Um, not worth much, but I do love me some avocados. This piece, I love the colors on it, but it was damaged and it looked to be missing a top, like a part to the lid. Little trinket box, probably made by Winnie. And I did like this vase. Liked the blue and white. They had $5 on it though. It wasn't marked, so I left it. And these two pieces down here look like they were missing their stoppers. Did like the blue. Up here we have some just kind of plain pieces. Although I have to, you know, do my merchandising there, spread them around, <laughs> make the shelf look better. On this corner, we have a piece down here that although it looks like pottery, it's just a, you know, maybe a Target piece or something or a home goods. 
And I was hoping that maybe that wooden piece was a Lazy Susan, but it was not. And then back here, look what I find. It's another piece of pottery. And they only have a dollar on this one. And it's signed. And yeah, I'm happy about this find too. It is from Asheville, North Carolina. It has a signature here that I could not make out, but I did find a small vase that was made from the same artist on eBay. I'll share it here. I could zoom in better and see that it was S period, S period, S period, and then LC. So don't know, haven't been able to find any other information on them, but it's so pretty. It's got this beautiful glaze. And then they use this kind of stylistic unglazed leaf. Looks like maybe a maple leaf. Um, that's what was used on the other one. And then they put in this pretty little metal flower frog. So I think it looks awesome for a dollar. So cute. I may have to put this in a upcoming um, online sale. I have the best luck finding pottery. I hope that never changes. <laughs> Everybody keep donating your pottery. I'll find it, I'll take care of it. <laughs> and before I finish this shopping trip, I wanna show you a couple of things. I did a little roundabout um, when Julie got there because she met me a little bit later and I just wanna see if anybody put anything back or if anything else went out. And I did find this beautiful Fenton. It is in a frosted blue, long tail bird. He is dirty. I'm hoping that some of this is not damaged. I'm hoping that it will come up, but I did buy him for $2. He's not worth a ton. I will share here what he's worth, but I think that he will pretty quickly sell on eBay, or if he's got this damage, I will do an as-is sale um, either online here or at my shop, but he is pretty beautiful. I love the lines on these Fenton birds. And the other thing I wanna share with you is I bought some doors. They are like thin, tall, and they have stained glass built into them. I bought four of them. I have no idea yet what I'm gonna do with them, but I will share a picture here while I'm talking. You can uh, see what they are. There are four of them, which means I could do some sort of paneled, I don't know, I have no idea. Um, but I could not pass them up, even if I figure out something to do with that insert. It is like a beautifully built piece with that um, stained glass insert in there. And um, you will not believe this, but they were only $2 a piece, $2. So for $8, I grabbed four of them and they're still in the Prius, which is right out there. <laughs> I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do with them. I think that they would sell on their own if I just take them over to the shop. I mean, even if I put $10 on them, that is eight to 40. Um, and I think somebody would scoop them up for that. Um, I don't know yet what I'm gonna put on them. Maybe a little bit more, I don't know, but we'll figure it out. They're just too beautiful to um, pass up. I had to grab a handful. All right, let's go back and check out the final part of this trip. We're gonna go check out some tools. I rarely take a look over here in the tool area, but I found this very heavy box. And when I opened it, it was full of these weird, like screws or nuts or I don't know what they're called but this box is beautiful I absolutely love the size and the color and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet but for five dollars it's coming with me and then I look up and I spied this beautiful little oil can I'm grabbing it too anyone have any idea <laughs> what these could be they look like flowers. I mean, I feel like there could be something really kind of artsy done with them. I just haven't hit it yet what it might be. The reason I grabbed them is because they were in this beautiful box. This is like everything I love. It is metal. It is primitive looking. It has this great leather handle. The patina, it's like perfectly used, um, a little bit rusty. Rusty and crusty is what they say, right? Um, has these compartments where all those pieces were, and I just love it. I think it would be a great way to store some things as well as maybe display some things um, because this would give something a little bit of height. Even if I used it open on a wall with some things peeking out of it, it's just a really cool design piece and the color is brilliant. I love it. So. That's what I was thinking when I paid $5 for it, that it was for me. <laughs> you know, if it doesn't get displayed here, 
uh, it's going to be an easy sell and I'm guessing somewhere between $20 and $25 just because it is so unique. It is old. It does have a really cool aesthetic that I think somebody else would appreciate as well. But yeah, I had to grab it. And then speaking of cool colors, my gosh, look at this. It is in the coolest teal. This is a oil can. Use your thumb to, you know, oil. Remember the Wizard of Oz? This was like the, you know, Tin Man. Get some there, get some there. <laughs> I need this for my knees. <laughs> if only that worked, right? So I paid $2 for this. It's probably somewhere in the $15 to $20 range. It's made by Eagle. It's a USA made piece. It's in brilliant condition. It is an older piece and this color is so cool. It's so cool. And again, when I bought it, I was thinking, oh my gosh, that would look so cool in a vignette or on a shelf. Um, just the color. It's my favorite color. <laughs> it reminds me of the 1920s, 1930s, and I just love it. So that was my last purchase and I was happy to find those. If and when I decide how to display those pieces, I will share that in a future video. And yeah, I'm excited about those. I was excited about everything on this day. And this is only half the day because when I split ways with Julie, I visited two more Goodwills and I stopped in at a small church thrift shop that I had never been to. So I will share all of those things and some shopping with you on Thursday. Hey, if you're still here with me right now, I appreciate you so much. Thanks for hanging out. If you are here and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do that. Click that subscribe button and then change that bell to all so you'll know when I put up a video. It happens a couple of times a week. And then while you're clicking around down there, click a like or a dislike. I don't care. And then do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. What did I find today that you were like, whoa, <laughs> wow, that rhymed too. <laughs> and or, you know, just say hello. And then the best thing you could do is share out the channel. Let everybody know that you're watching someone who does what you do, thrifting, looking for bargains and bolos and tell them to come on over and subscribe. Join our little Yoso Boho tribe. All right, everyone. I will see you on Thursday. Until then, please take care. Bye.